Over to the Champions League. So Liverpool and City, two English teams uh, through this evening to the semi-finals of the Champions League last night. It was two Spanish teams in Villarreal and uh, Real Madrid. Uh, let's start by talking about this Atletico City game. Plenty to talk about in this one. Uh, it took Atletico basically until the second half of the second leg to really come out. But when they did... They kept coming and coming, didn't they, Jamie? You did. Not better. Oh, no. But they were, they, were, they were excellent, you know, in that second half. And this is, this is what we want to see from Atletico, creating chances. And it's just cutting you there. And you'll see on this angle here, John Stones just gets his foot. On another day, that goes in. But it's extremely good defending. And it just shows you when Atletico, you know, want to move forward, they go forward with quality, because they've got quality in the team. I think, I, I think, as I said, this second half, watching a team that completely contrasts from how they've played for mm -hmm. three other 45 minutes and they completely change and go at it. Yeah, we can say they should have done that from the very start, but the pressure they put on, again, a little bit of fortune for Man City. If the ball doesn't just travel that little bit further, he probably puts that in Savage. This is great goalkeeping. I mean, the delivery is fantastic. It only takes a touch. And again, you go back to it, you need luck at times in this, so one of those little instances could have ended up in the back of the net. You then play an extra time without Kyle Walker and Kevin De Bruyne, and you're really up against it, so massive credit to Manchester City for hanging on and holding on, and we don't normally see them in these type of battles. Nathan Aki, I thought when he came on, was brilliant, along with Finn and Dean, I thought those changes made a real big difference. See the two of them involved there as well. <sighs> and you just can't get that finish off, but we've all played in games like that, and you come off, and they're the massive wins. Sometimes you can win three or four nil, but sometimes when you've had a win like that, you see the Man City players getting together at the end of the game. Sometimes it just means a little bit more. Uh, Manchester City's best two chances, one in either half, really. Ilkay Gundogan, Micah? Yeah, Gundogan. Um, I thought he had a good game today, to be honest. Getting in really good positions. On another night, we talked about Atletico being lucky at times. You know, Man City were unlucky. Uh, maybe not to score here. And, yeah, Man City probably won at their best. Over the whole 90 minutes, but they still create chances. And this is one just late on in the game. Sterling coming on, making a difference, great run. And he just can't get enough purchase on it. But yeah, it wasn't meant to be, but it was still a, a great game. And you know, you, you normally sort of see Man City finish off them chances, but it wasn't meant to be today. Uh, Atletico did think that uh, they could have had a penalty shout. Angel Correa certainly thought that it should have been a penalty. I, I see your face already. Let's go to somebody neutral. Thierry, did you think... Whoa, neutral? <laughs>something out of that and um, yeah final vote decisive vote Jamie no it wasn't a penalty okay fair enough